if you are looking for the best loadout for Kumochan, you are in the right place. At first, this event might seem confused with all its features and mechanics, but don't worry, I am here to solve all your problems and make it super simple. In this event, you have your own Kumochan, a mechanical warrior ready to battle other players. But to win, you'll need to upgrade your Kumochan with the right equipment. And for that, you'll need to gather components and evolvers. Let's dive into exactly how you can collect these resources and use them to build the perfect loadout. To upgrade your Kumochan, you'll need two main materials, components and evolvers. These materials let you draw equipment through two types of draws. The regular draw gives you a random piece of equipment and one evolver. The advanced draw guarantees you an unknown piece of equipment which is perfect for building up your arsenal and making your Kumochan stronger. So where can you get all these components and evolvers? Here's the breakdown. Complete tasks in the main Kumo Clash event. There are daily tasks, challenges and weekly tasks. Completing all of these will provide you with components and evolvers. Daily random battles. Head to the random battle section and aim to win 5 battles. Winning 5 battles will reward you with 25 old archives and 8 components. But that's just what most players do. Since you're here, let's go beyond the basics. Our first pro tip is to complete the 20 NPC challenges. These challenges are fairly straightforward and I know a lot of my subscribers have already taken them on. Once you're done with these, you'll have a nice boost in materials. Plus valuable experience for configuring your Kumochan to match different opponent strategies. Now let's talk about the workshop, the core of setting up your Kumochan's loadout. But before that, let me ask, what do you think is most important in battles? Is it Kumochan's health, gun damage or energy? The answer, energy. Managing your energy effectively will make all the difference in the arena. Let's start by building a solid loadout for you. The first part of your loadout is the core. This is the health and energy equipment for Kumochan. Depending on which core you choose, your HP can range from 100 to 330. If you're looking at the core as 006, it gives you 330, which might seem like the best choice. But let's take a closer look. Energy management is crucial here because without enough energy, your weapons won't work effectively. You might think core S001 with its 10 max energy is the best option. But remember, it only gives 280, which could be risky against tougher opponents. The key is to balance three factors, energy recovery rate. Prioritize this to keep your energy level steady. Max energy ensures you can use your high-powered weapons consistently. Max health enough to survive tougher opponents without compromising energy. With all these factors in mind, I recommend Core S002 or Core S009 as your top choices. Both provide a good balance between energy recovery, max energy and max health. If these are locked for you, focus on unlocking them by using advanced draws as much as possible. Next up is choosing the right weapons. Before we select the best weapons, let's quickly go over some important terms you'll see on weapon stats. Attack power, the damage range dealt by the weapon. Crit rate, the chance of landing a critical hit, which doubles the damage. Energy cost, how much energy each attack uses. If you don't have enough, you won't be able to fire. Cooldown timer, the delay between two consecutive attacks. Special effects on weapons add unique buffs and debuffs such as electricity, increases energy recovery speed, Reflection deals damage back to the enemy when hit. Precision boosts critical hit rate. Lifesteal recovers health based on damage dealt. Some debuffs to watch out for include Corrosion reduces HP gradually. Slow lowers energy recovery speed. Weakness increases incoming damage. For weapons, I highly recommend S016 and S020. Both of these have strong attack power 8, 10 and 8, 12 respectively with a low energy cost around 2 or less. They also have cooldowns of 1.4 and 1.5 seconds, keeping you in action without long waits. Plus, they come with effective special effects to boost your Kumochan's damage output. Now let's look at plugins. Plugins offer special effects and buffs, and combining the right ones can make a big difference. Here are the best plugins I recommend. S018 When battle start, gain 3 heal, then 1 heal every 4 seconds. S019 when battle start, gain 6 heal and 1 weakness. S030, every second 70%. Chance to gain 1 random positive effect except overload. Make sure to check the detailed effects on each plugin to see which ones align best with your strategy. With all of that, here are my two best loadouts which helped me secure over 100 wins in the Kumo Chan Arena. Just a heads up, these loadouts are strong, but you might still lose 1 out of every 20 games depending on the matchups. Loadout 1, Core S002 or S009 if S002 is locked. Weapons, S020 and S016. Plugins, S018, S019 and S030. Loadout 2, 
my personal favorite core S009, weapons S029 and S016, plugins S018, S019 and S030. Try these loadouts out and let me know in the comments if they helped you crush the competition. Or if you have any other loadout suggestions, drop them below. I'd love to hear what's working for you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.